Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be comparing two different brow products and kind of seeing which one works better with my eyebrows and which one I like better. So I'm just going to be showing you guys that today. So on this side, I'm going to be doing my Dip Brow Palmade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And on this side, I'm going to be doing the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe and make sure to comment down below any requests or questions you guys may have. So let's get right into the video. So I'm just going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I'm going to be taking the um, number 12 brush that's also from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this side is the Dip Brow and this side is going to be the Brow Definer. So. I'm just going to be taking some of that um, dip brow on my brush and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows as normally. So I'm just going to brush my hairs up like that. And I'm also going to brush this side since that's what I normally do to my brows. I'm going to be using the same exact techniques with both products but it's just going to be a little bit different because they're different products, you know. So I'm just going to be drawing a line underneath where my eyebrow should really start, just like that, just drawing the line and extending the line to the first part of my brow, just like I just did right there, like that. Then I'm just going to take a little bit more dip brow. And then I'm going to draw a line on top of where I want my eyebrow to start. Like and then I am just going to do hair like strokes in the beginning of my brow. Like that. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more dip brow and then I'm just going to fill in the remainder part of my hairs right there. So then I'm just going to be taking the other side of the brush and just blending in the first section of my eyebrow. So, pretty much just like that. And I'm just kind of cleaning up my finger. So, I'm going to conceal both of them after I do both of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this side. But I usually, on a day to day, use Dip Brow every day of my life. I only really use the um, brow definer when I'm in a rush or something and I don't feel like, you know, really being super precise like I am with this one. So, I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to kind of tell you guys how I feel about it compared to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So I'm just going to be taking the brush side of it on this one and just brushing my hairs up the same way that I did with the other brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills like this. And then I'm just going to be taking the pencil or crayon part of it and I'm just going to draw a line and then do what I need. But as I already can feel I'm not getting as good as control with this because I just accidentally made a line underneath here. So that's how you know you really don't have as good as control with this one versus this one. So I'm just gonna keep doing my do. Okay, just trying to hold it down and do it here. And it's gonna run out. Did this one. This one was a bit harder because it's like you can't get as precise, but I still kind of got it to where I want it to be. So now I'm just gonna do the top um, one. I did the other one. 
He's gonna be kind of pulling in the rest of my brow and then drawing those hair like strokes like I do with the other brow brow. And then pretty much, then I'm just gonna blend the um, first part out. Okay, now we are going to conceal. I'm going to be concealing with just a flat concealer brush and my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. That's what I usually use to conceal my brows. And my concealer is in the shade Toshi. So I'm just gonna be taking that and just and then I'm just going to conceal the bottom of the other brow. Some time away. Now you need to fall with a gimme all that. Then once I conceal, I'm just gonna be dragging the concealer down. Like I usually do. So now I'm just going to be concealing the top part of my bra, like usual. In my god, I can't like it. You know I'm down with you the nicest. Nobody touch me in a right this. Nobody touch me in a crisis. I believe the only in dreams are the rain. So then I'm just going to be dragging that concealer upwards and then I'm going to blend it out with a blending crease brush. So now I'm just going to be touching up this eyebrow because I kind of messed up what I was concealing. And then I'm just going to continue to blend this out. And I'm just going to work the middle up again. Just to be in the way to the brow and still make sure that they get these hairs back in the line. And then I'm just going to move the point of the out. Then I'm just going to be setting my eyebrows with the Great Lash Clear Mascara. And then I'll be done. Okay, so now I'm done with my eyebrows and I'm kind of feeling like they actually don't look that much different, but I'm very shocked that the brow definer side, which is this side, 
Actually, I like the look of this side better than I like the look of this side. I don't feel like they look so drastically different, which is really, really good. So, I really like, because I use the same techniques, both sides, so I, that's probably why they don't look so different. But I like this side better, so. But the only thing is, with the brow definer, you don't have as much control, so you have to be very careful and go very slow with your strokes and things like that but you can create a more natural look with the brow definer versus the dip brow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which side you like better, whether it's the dip brow or whether it's the brow definer. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!